What's up guys, it's Michael here. In this video, we're gonna talk about AMC and meme stocks, such as Dogecoin, GameStop, and what I think about it. And looking towards the future, is it a good time to invest or not? So let's get into it. Before I start this video, please click the like button down below and the subscribe button. This will help out the channel a lot and I can create more content like this. In the future, I'll be creating my own Discord server and a Patreon group. So if anyone wants to come check it out, I'll link it in the future and down in the description below. So let's get into it. So first, we have to see what is going on. So thanks to the pandemic, a lot of people are now being on the internet. And now thanks to a lot of supply and chain demand, the strain on it, prices have been changing by going up and inflating. What happened is, it's really interesting. If you look at AMC stock, a lot of hedge, for, it's basically hedge funds versus people who are willing to try to make a dent in their wall because hedge funds are, let's face it, kind of manipulative, basically billionaires and millionaires. A lot of people can make a lot of money off of it from doing what they do, basically short selling and what other people do. It's basically looking at who is you know, the better, who, who can outlast the other. Short term, you can look at it as gambling or at the same time, you can look at it as investments. And so first we gotta look at AMC and all the other meme stock currencies. They call it a meme stock, but depends what point of view. Because when you read all these articles, think, to, think in your head. Don't let whatever they write out to sway what you think. Have your own opinion to it. Don't always agree with other people, such as with this video you're watching. If you're watching this video, think about it yourself. Because some of the things I mentioned, you gotta look into it. So first, you look at GameStop and AMC, because they're both stock. Then we'll look into the other categories and groups. So AMC itself, before the pandemic, they're you know they're doing pretty well. Opening movie theaters, you have you know ArcLight, Regal, there's a bunch of other ones out there. And you have basically AMC. AMC was supposed to file for bankruptcy because that's what the hedge funds are going for because they think that company will not last. But personally, myself as a consumer looking into it using their products before by going to their movie theaters. Do you really think movie theaters will foreclose when the pandemic is basically going to post production and post phase and when it open back up? Personally, I don't see it because people think about it. Out of all the people who have TVs and computers, think about the amount of people who don't have that product. Think about the people who don't have like a, you know, an 80 inch screen, you know, LCD or LED OLED TV with like, you know, surround sound system, Blu-ray. They don't have it compared to a movie theater. Why well, just go to a movie theater and watch the movie there and you get the full experience. That was the whole point of a movie theater. And also, that's how they make their money as people in movie production companies. If movie production companies are putting everything in DVD, they're not going to make as much money compared to, you know, posting your movie in movie theaters. So that's why when Hedge Fund decided to short against AMC, all the people, you know, from Reddit, and now thanks to the pandemic, everyone's at home using computer, they see this. Like basically, but besides the millennial generation, even older generation see just like, okay, let's get into this. So they all come together and they fight against the hedge fund. So shooting the price skyrocketing. So before when it was going down, trending down. So you look at stocks like AMC, they're going down because majority of the companies going down during, you know, every pandemic phase or basically post catastrophe phase. You look at basically airlines, Boeing, and you look at basically Delta, the list goes on. Anything that's like a major commercial, like basically influence, airlines, you got movie theaters, uh, restaurants, except for, you know, tech corporations. Tech corporations, they really get hit as hard because, you know, it's digital. You don't have to be within person. You don't have to meet face to face. You meet digitally. So they, they haven't really been affected as much. But as for the ones that meet in person, yes, they got affected a lot. But at the same time, during that time, there was a great opportunity. So people who saw that opportunity, like for example, AMC stock, people said that company is going to go underwater. I didn't believe so. So I personally went in and I threw a lot, I threw a lot of my own income. That's for me because I believed in it. Because when you invest, you have to believe in something you're putting money into and you got to do research on it. Don't let whatever day other people say sway how you invest. So you look into it yourself and you think it was a viable investment, you go into it. That's how it is. And where it's trending right now, it's basically went up and now it's slowly tumbling back down. But as I said, because this is the only data that's been proven so far showing how the investments work, especially in America. Investments over time go up. For example, you look at NVIDIA, you look at AMD, you look at car manufacturers like Tesla. No exception, you know, it's Ford because, you know, sadly, uh, that company's a kind of a disappointment, but you know, 
besides that. But you look at companies like Ferrari, that went IPO during 2016. When you start off, you start really small and people are like, yeah, they're not gonna last. Guess what? As long as I company, they compete with each other, compete with other corporations, they go up. They always try to improve. As simple as that. That data has been proven over and over again. And majority of people still don't seem to understand it. And next, we're going to get into the more meme currencies. For example, Dogecoin and Bitcoin. Looking into it, you got to look at their history. First of all, blockchain itself, it's very new. And the people who are backing it compared to stocks and the other two, as I mentioned before in my previous video, is you know stocks and basically currencies for other countries are backed by their government cryptocurrency is backed by the people and if the people believe in it enough people believe in it and start using it they can become a viable currency for example you look at bitcoin you got another country i think believe is el salvador quote me if i'm wrong are now trying to implement bitcoin as part of their currency because it's you know third world country and they want to try something different they want to see if they can, you know, dig themselves out of the grave, basically. And you look at Dogecoin. Dogecoin itself. Is that currency is more, way more valuable than Bitcoin. Because Bitcoin is only a limited amount of number that can be mined. A lot of people do not notice. Bitcoin is only a certain amount of number that will be introduced and that's it. They cut it off. As for Dogecoin, Dogecoin itself, there's unlimited amount of number it can be mined. So compare that with basically other currencies like stocks. Same thing, it's unlimited amount of number that can be bought for as an investor. And you look at Dogecoin itself, compare that to stocks. Those two are pretty much similar in line. So one's a cryptocurrency and the other one has a physical, like a physical asset, basically a building, a place they're trying to sell sell their product cryptocurrency on the other hand is trying to match that match how stocks and dogecoin i believe that's one of the best ones to try to go for it try to meet against the stock market because they are trying to now have other companies implement them so you look at example tesla you have other big companies if more big companies come in and start using dogecoin as a viable you know option as a currency then you'll see that skyrocketing. As for Bitcoin, those Ethereum as an actual currency for people, day-to-day -day people, think about it. It's not always about you. Think about everyone else. How would they use it? Think from their shoes. If you can think from their shoes, you'll understand what do they think and how would it implement them and how would it benefit their company. If it benefits them, then they'll go for it. As simple as that. That's all I got to say for this time. See you guys next time on my channel. Peace.